The other thing that just blows my mind is that they don't gouge you on concessions. Like I went to, uh, I, I shouldn't say this after I just said I didn't have the money to go to City and Chelsea. The reason I didn't have money to go to City and Chelsea is I took my kids to the Era Tour in Wembley Stadium. And first of all, Wembley Stadium, like, you know, probably the, if there was a capital of soccer, that would be it. Like that is like arguably the number one stadium associated with the sport. And it was, I'd never seen it before. And so going to Wembley was an amazing experience. And everybody walks into the stadium and like, I'm expecting like, okay, I've already spent the GDP of a small nation. Like charge me whatever you want for water. And you walk in, there's like water specials. And there's like wine, it's like two for one. It's like, what is going on here? Like, don't you guys know how to do this? Where is your capitalist spirit? No wonder we broke away from you. Wow, that's actually really refreshing. Um, I mean, that's great that you don't have to go to a sporting event and pay $13 for a beer the half the size of... They literally ran specials. They literally ran specials. Like, beer at a concert sells itself. You do not have to have discounts. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm all for this. I love this. I love hearing this. It actually gives me a renewed sense of hope that, that things are just about completely price gouging everybody when you get them trapped in places like the airport. <laughs> so well, well, I took my kids on the Stanford Bridge tour. So we did like go through the bridge and like all that. And it was the day before the match day. And, like everything was set up. The concessions were all that. And they looked at the concession prices and my 11 year old, you know, who's who's definitely going to be a capitalist, like, it was like, Daddy, why don't they charge more? I was like, well, <laughs> I guess they, you know, like, don't want to gouge their fans and things like that. And then I explained how, like, how hard it was to get tickets because Stanford Bridge is the smallest of the big six stadiums. She's like, well, tickets must be, like, three times more expensive then because of supply and demand. I was like, no, they actually, like, are cheaper than American tickets. And so just, like, <laughs> the entire spirit of it is amazing. Like, once you get over there, it is the, about the best boarding experience you can have if you're a soccer fan. I look forward to your daughter running the Fed in about 15 years. So that's going to be great. <laughs> oh good to know. Good to know at least who our next uh, chairman's going to be. Oh!